There's thousands and thousands of people taking to the streets today from all walks of life, from, from right here in Durban to across South Africa, across Africa and beyond. I know people who have travelled specially here today, they took buses last night just so they could join in this amazing march. There's union groups, there's women's groups, there's environmental groups, there's aid groups. There's just ordinary people who have travelled here today to get their voices heard. It's the one day that people from all over the world, all over the country come together and really raise their voices to say it's time to take action on climate change. Climate change is going to impact on us all, every single one of us. So it's really important that every single one of us around the world has a voice. This COP is the first African COP and it's one of the most important COP. We African youth need to be here, our voice needs to be heard. We need to keep Kyoto Protocol alive because it's not just our lives, it's the life of our children and the children that have never been born. They are the ones that carry the voice, the message of the people, the message of hope and survival. It's a silent voice that calls people to action. The, the power of the civil society cannot be underemphasized. If you empower a human, you empower a, a, a nation. Because as women, we are the ones who are affected by this climate change. What we are seeing is people from around the world wanting action, wanting action on climate change. When we talk about the big picture, we're talking about people. 500 women from Southern Africa have also descended on Durban and today they're all here marching as a block saying rural women need people, politicians to take action on climate change. And I'm here only for one reason, to change the world and with my comrades at the back we can achieve it. It is time now to stop uh, polluting the earth because where we are going is a very deep drain where we are all going to fall and there will be no earth there will be no farming. They're seeing their seasons changing, they're seeing rains becoming unpredictable, they're seeing hotter temperatures. So it means they can't grow food as they used to. If they can't grow food, they can't put food on the, the tables for their families. Oxfam's here to fight hunger, first and foremost, you know, so we've got to get the people, the voices of the people out there, and we've got to make sure that at the end of this week, we get the best possible deal that we can. Ah!